Hello friends! Whenever we learn of some unfortunate incident that happened anywhere in the world, we emphasize with its participants. Meanwhile, we forget that there are also incidents in the wild that can definitely be called a tragedy and are worthy of wide publicity. The main characters of our story today had to face one of the most terrible manifestations of bestial essence, originating from prehistoric times. Early in the morning, three hunters from a small town went hunting in the forest. The men knew the route like the back of their hand and had walked this path many times before. This time, however, when the hunters went deeper into the forest, they saw many hoof marks and a bunch of broken branches on the ground, as well as shreds of wool stuck in the tree bark. It was obvious that some kind of forest drama had taken place there. The men cautiously followed the trail. There were crushed leaves and scarlet spots everywhere. The trail led the three men to the river, where they saw something truly terrible. At first, the hunters didn't even understand what exactly happened there and what kind of animal was in front of them. But then, when they took a closer look, they realized what had happened. Two deer came together in a deadly fight. Autumn is the mating season for deer. In the evening and early morning hours, the silence of the forest is broken by the loud roar of a male deer. The roar has a double meaning, both inviting and repelling. By the power of the roar, the deer recognize the strength of the opponent and decide whether to join the fight. Young males usually prefer to avoid fighting mature rivals and choose someone equal to them in strength. This time, the fight was between two strong adult males. They tried to show the females which one of them was more promising in terms of procreation. It clearly turned out to be a life or death fight. Two approximately equal in strength males tightly grappled with their antlers, and sometime later, the animals ended up in the river. Since their antlers locked together, they've become a real death trap for the unfortunate animals. The worst part was that one of the fighters was already dead, which meant that the second deer had to literally drag a dead body everywhere. At first, the hunters were taken aback by the sight of something so unusual, but when they pulled themselves together, they realized that the surviving animal needed to be saved. Thus, the men surrounded the deer and began to slowly close in on it. Despite the fact that the animal was severely emaciated, it still had enough strength to fight back. Finally, the hunters managed to knock the deer down and tie its hind legs with a belt. Fortunately, there were rangers working nearby and they had a chainsaw on them. Having taken his chainsaw, the ranger followed the hunter, unsuspecting of what he was about to see. But when this terrible scene appeared before his eyes, where life and death were intertwined into one whole, the man couldn't hold back his tears. Fortunately, trimming the horns took only a couple of minutes and the unfortunate deer was soon set free. The hunters buried the defeated opponent in the nearest thicket, not wanting to leave it to be torn to pieces by predators. All of the participants of this story will definitely remember the tragic situation which almost claimed the lives of two living creatures. It might seem incredible, but a year later this incident got a continuation when the deer started coming to the house of one of the hunters. His head was decorated with young, barely grown antlers. The animal stood by the fence and looked into the window for a long time, which made the hunter's little son very happy. Having barely looked at the deer's growing antlers, the hunter smiled and understood everything without a word. The hunter guessed that it was probably the same horned fighter whom he and his friends saved on the riverbank a year ago. Over time, the deer became completely tame and the hunter even set up a feeder for it at the very edge of the forest. Many of the inhabitants were surprised to see the friendship between a man and a wild animal and put forward various theories and assumptions. And only the hunter knew that it was the rescued deer's way of expressing its gratitude, because if it weren't for the hunter and his friends, the deer would have certainly died. Therefore, there is no doubt that wild animals can feel and express gratitude. And our story today is great proof of that. 
And that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts about this episode in the comments below the video. Be sure to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time.